Hi guys, welcome to the MCQs of SCPM. We are doing a chapter whereby we try to be studying that what all is changing in the business today. And to be very honest, this is one field that is changing so fast. You know, sometimes we as students start to be thinking, sir, the accounting standards change, the treatment change, but all these things are changing. Why? The fundamental reason is because there is a change in business. How accounting is done for manufacturing companies, it is not done in the same way for the e-commerce companies, right? Okay, so everything is changing. Your accountancy is not a standalone thing. It is byproduct of the companies, right? It is byproduct of the business that is happening. So obviously, if the businesses are changing, at that time, accounting has to be changing here. Uh, before I start, like always, two things. You want to be enrolling for my complete course. Link is there in the description. And further, uh, join our telegram channel in the group for the frequent updates on the subject let's start it off if you have any friends in ca inter do inform them uh, on every saturday and sunday we come out with our lectures of uh, costing ca inter completely free on our youtube channel uh, we also provide the soft copy completely free of the book every question has a summary every question has a rating every chapter will have a test and there is a dedicated homework section enough for any uh, student to be getting 90 plus in costing in C inter please do inform if you have any friends uh, in C inter okay let's start it off so what are the features of in Incumbents. So, what is meant by that? Incumbents means established companies. Okay. Those companies who have been there in the business for very long. Like today, say, if I think of, say, auto sector, you all have Bajaj, you all have Maruti. If I think of, say, the technology sector, you have, say, Infosys. Okay. You have, say, TCS. If I talk of, say, like, you know, in phones, you have Apple, you have Samsung, up and so on. All these companies, actually, there are two conflicting terms. One of them is incumbents. Other of them, in this case, are startups. Okay, so, like, you know, like, Ola was a startup few years ago. Now, it has also become incumbent. Okay. Although, in the EV sector, okay, they all have launched the two-wheelers. Okay, Ola S1, Ola S1 Pro, you might have heard of. Okay, so the Ola scooters. I think they were quite a startup in that. Because my example is going to be of Ola in uh, future. So, therefore, I thought something that I'll say. So, what are features of such established companies? Permanent organization designed to execute a business model that is repeatable and scalable. Second, innovation supported by tech behemoths or angel investors okay third drive two sense of true sense of technology change by exploiting it to the commercial level okay fourth one production can start small without an expectation of minimum viable market size fifth dynamic individual entrepreneurial culture okay now the options over here which one of them are the features okay i'll come back to all these things once i discuss the features but let's try to be having two things over here incumbents incumbents are those companies which are established in their field okay they are there for very long and startups in this case are those companies who are relatively new in this field okay who do not have much amount of money themselves okay they try to take the money from the investors up and so on okay so let's have one example say that bajaj we all know bajaj like you know now, Bajaj has been there in the markets for very long. They started away with scooters. But then at one moment of time, Hero Honda. Hero Honda was actually the collaboration of two companies. Uh, Hero, the Indian company, and Honda, the Japanese company. So, they all had a joint venture of Hero Honda. Hero Honda launched the bikes and Bajaj went for a toss. But then it came back again and launched so many bikes. One of the big successes for uh, Bajaj was its Pulsar bike, which brought them back. And like, you know, now Bajaj is a leader in two wheelers also. But then <clears throat> at one moment of time, we thought like, you know, let's try to be launching electric scooters. Not many people know that they launched the electric scooter far before Ola had launched. So I still say that like, you know, Bajaj is an example of un incumbents and they launched Bajaj Chetak, the EV vehicle, the EV one. Okay. And around one and a half year ago, Ola also launched their S1s. Okay, this is Ola scooter. Bajaj Chetak, the EV version, in case you have not driven, it's a wonderful vehicle to be driven. Okay, these guys don't try to experiment. They have got an image to maintain. 
you know when bajaj you might be knowing this i don't know bajaj just now they all have launched a cng bike also the first kind of a bike in the entire world and you might not be knowing but they tested it okay in like you know in a way that actually only four wheeler used to be testing because where you are sitting there is a 2 kg cylinder down that bike is called as a freedom 125 i think okay it runs on cng a 2 kg tank and a petrol 2 liter uh, tank for that also and they tested that so much okay did it take loan from the investors no they all have enough money did they come out with new technology yes it was the first vehicle of this type and believe me once they announced that so many companies like mgl they have also announced that in their petrol pumps in their gas filling stations to be honest okay they will be having a separate line for such kind of two wheelers okay because else these guys will have to be uh, waiting for very long so what's the difference between strategy of bajaj who has launched say a chetak ev or who has launched say a uh, freedom 125 as compared to when ola had launched s1 and it was a startup at that time so first one read over there new technologies that require significantly more money and resources to develop bajaj was the, almost the first kind of a company to launch such kind of vehicles like you know which were trustworthy as such so like you know they try to invest in the new technologies and they invest good amount of money but companies like ola okay seen the startup column innovation supported by tech by mods matlab those people like you know who are very good in their field or angel investors angel investors in this case are basically those people who give you the money for a certain project or for a certain business okay bajaj does not require money from anybody else they have enough amount of money to be investing in new things okay so therefore this is their focus of research efforts in second is object is to drive to true sense of technological change by exploiting it at the commercial level now obviously bajaj wants profit out of this okay they will exploit it so now if you all go to surat you all go to chandigarh they all have chetak showrooms where only bajaj chetak ev is available not other vehicles okay this is their way of trying to popularize it it will cost them a lot okay but then it is something that will build it for a very long period of time but startups in this case they try to drive the chain through disruptive innovations you might not be knowing but when ola had launched like you know their s1 and s1 pro up and so on they started the pre booking of that at 999 that was disruptive innovation many people who never ever wanted a ola scooter also they all paid 999 and they all thought whenever our chance will come we will pay for it okay it was a innovative thing such thing was never ever heard of also like you know in kind of a two wheeler or something okay and strive for established companies or incumbents they try to take the technologies to the profitable level ultimately bajaj is going to be not thinking what happens in one year two year no they are thinking what happens in five five years in beginning bajaj sold very less bikes of chetak but over a period of time they have started to now understand how to be playing with the market so initially bajaj chetak that was launched was 150000 plus okay they launched a new version of that around in june 2024 and that was a lighter version of that at 96000 rupees okay almost same price or slightly a lower price as compared to ola also with slightly lesser amount of battery slightly like you know not that strong a engine but they all thought that most of people who are driving a ev scooter they don't want those particular things okay so this is the last point under uh, incumbents they take the technologies to the profitable level they will keep on investing more money till the time that technology becomes a profitable venture for them over there they bring the uh, innovation with potential to cause the disruption basically these companies the startups up in so on they all have big brains okay and that is why they want to exploit their brains as such and they try to bring the innovation these guys like you know the in incumbents they bring the innovation but then they try to invest so much in that kind of the innovation that it becomes very good and it gets accepted very fast because being a big player to people trust them a lot
but the startups as such like you know they do not try to be doing that they think like you know that their innovation will ultimately attract the crowd okay so this is a difference between both these companies okay that is the startups and the established company so our question was what are the features of incumbents okay permanent organization designed to execute a business model that is repeatable and scalable of course yes they will start the production at a good level before that they do all the market research they are ready to invest okay so point number one is correct these are permanent uh, organization bajaj has remained in the indian market for decades will remain in the markets for decades more second innovation supported by Tech by mods or angel investors. Like you know, if I have to give one example of text, uh, you know, this word that is there. Okay, somebody like say uh, Steve Jobs. Okay, was a super tech person. Okay, in nineteen ninety nine when he started to work for uh, Apple again. Okay, because he was removed from Apple, although it was his company. But then when he started to be thinking, like you know, now Apple doesn't have much amount of money. we will launch product okay he was a brain behind ipod okay and ipod became a super successful device my purpose of doing this entire video is not to tell you that startups are not successful okay but startups require great brains behind them okay income means they can hire good amount of team who can over a period of time develop better so therefore point number 2 is actually for startups it is not for uh, income means third so first was correct second is not a feature third drive true sense of technological uh, changes by exploiting it to the commercial level i explain that particular point it's true okay ultimately they have to get value out of it okay fourth production can start small without an expectation of minimum viable market size no for established market it is necessary that there is a minimum market had bajaj ever launched a bike if they thought that there is no market for it and we will try out in the market might be it become successful no these companies they heavily try to do research and development to try to find out they try to do the market research to try to find out is there a market for all these things so point number 4 is wrong fifth dynamic individual entrepreneurial culture no in case of established companies like you know they are not very dynamic in the sense like you know that those guys don't change every day based upon the market they have their set culture set processes you now everything that has to be launched has to be following that entire process might be that is whatever has made them big and that is whatever they all try to be following because they cannot afford a failure being a very big company they cannot afford a failure so therefore they have their own processes which they try to be following So point number one is correct. Point number three is correct. Point number two, four, and five actually belongs to startups. Okay, not to incumbents. Okay, so therefore correct should be one and three over here. So I guess your point number two is all together correct. That's it from my side. Till the time we meet next time. Stay fit, stay healthy. By the way, this is the QR code of the playlist that has every possible MCQ that we all have launched so far. Okay, so uh, share it with all those people, all those students who will need it. Till the time we meet next time take care bye